Hello everybody, uh, I'm Wiley and today I'm going to be showing you how I built my sweet Minecraft for Tale of Kingdoms. It uses a whole bunch of mods that I find really useful in conjunction with each other. Um, now, I'm going to say right now, um, if this doesn't work for you, it's not my fault. This is just what worked for me and I don't have an awesome computer, so I'm pretty sure it will work for most people. Um, however, if this causes your Minecraft to crash or anything like that, don't blame me because I'm telling you right now that it's not perfect. Uh, so anyway, before you start this, by the way, try to update your, to update your video card drivers because those can cause a lot of problems. Um, so the first thing you're wanna, gonna go ahead and grab is a program called MC Nostalgia, which uh, I will have all of the links in the description. Um, the downloads right here, 2.1.2. And um, you're gonna go ahead and run that, which will, you'll, you'll extract it and set it up. It gives you this folder. You'll then get this, uh, this window, this uh, command prompt here. <clears throat> hit enter it gives you all of the previous versions of Minecraft the one you're looking for is right here 91 1.2.5 so you'll go down here you'll hit 91 and you'll press enter I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again it will then automatically downgrade your version of Minecraft to 1.2.5 so whenever you're grabbing any of these mods make sure you get the version for 1.2.5 the second program you're going to want to get is called MC Patcher. All right. Um, it should be this version 2.4.0 for 1.2.5. So not too hard to find. Um, yeah, it's on this site somewhere, uh, near the bottom, I think. Yeah, right here. Get the, get the version for your platform, obviously. Um, so once you have that, uh, set that up and I like to put that in my Minecraft folder just right here. It's this program this little creeper fella here um, And yeah, that's really useful Okay um, The next uh, after that you're you're gonna want to go ahead and get all of your mods So I'll go over tale of kingdoms first <clears throat> That's on this website. You want the latest uh Latest version of that, it's I believe 1.3, and that's 4, 1.2.5, just right here. Um, just go ahead and grab that mod. You don't need to extract it. In fact, you don't need to extract any of the mods. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and get Mod Loader, which is one of uh, Risigami's mods. Uh, and he has a whole bunch of mods down here. Mod Loader's right here. Now, when you're getting Mod Loader, make sure you click on this button for old versions. And you probably need to do this with a lot of stuff. And then you're going to grab Mod Loader 1.2.5 right there. All right. Make sure you do that. It's important. Otherwise, you'll get screwed. Okay. Um, whoops. Let me go back to Risugamis real quick. There's another mod here, which I find useful. I'm using it in my series. It's called Death Chest. And it's great for... Um, just any time you're doing a series or something and you, you want to keep your items. It's... Could be a little bit of a cheat, I suppose you could say, but it's not that much. It only saves about half your items, and you have to carry a chest around with you. So, um, yeah. All right. So, uh, Risugamis. Um, I'm also using not enough items now. I wanted to go over this one specially because you need to make sure you get the code chicken core as well, and you're going to want to make sure it's uh, it's the one for. 1.2.5. Um, all of the old versions of these mods are down here, and then it'll give you a big uh, list of stuff that you want to go ahead and, and download certain versions of it. I'll go over uh, all of those versions later. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that right now since we're here, just in case you're following along. <clears throat> so the versions that I am using of Code Chicken Core and uh, Not Enough Items are... Code Chicken Core Client, client version obviously, 0 0.5.5, and Not Enough Items Client, 1.3.0.1. Both of those have worked for me. So, yeah. All right. So the other mods that I'm using are Raise Minimap, which should be pretty easy to find. Uh, Tree Capitator, off DAF PVS mods. Inventory Tweaks. 
and also Optifine. Now I'll show you the version of Optifine that I'm using. Just because Optifine can cause some conflicts. Uh, Optifine HD C6 Smooth for 1.24 and 1.25. Um, so yeah, that's that's the version I'm using. It's worked for me. So again, can't promise it'll work for you, but it's pretty good. So if you want to grab the rest of the mods, um, go ahead and do that. It shouldn't be hard to find. Um, Ray's Minimap is an awesome mod. Everybody should get that. And then the other one I'm using is uh, the inventory tweaks, which will, you know, replace tool. If you have uh, extra tools in your inventory, it will automatically shove them into your hotbar when you uh, use them up. There's Ray's Minimap and inventory tweaks. Or if you're building and you have a stack of stone and you go through one stack and you've got more stone in your inventory, it'll automatically stick it in your hotbar. So real, really useful. So here's uh, inventory tweaks 1.41b. So once you've done all of that um, and you've downgraded your Minecraft with MC Nostalgia, you're going to go ahead and run MC Patcher. Now it won't look like this initially for you. It's not going to have all this stuff here. I keep pointing at the screen and then remembering that no one can see that. Um, so you want to go ahead and click this plus sign. And now what I've done is I've put all of my mods unextracted, obviously they're just zip files, in a, in a folder on my desk and on my desktop. And so I can just straight go into that real easily. Put it, you can put it anywhere. It doesn't have to be on the desktop, but that's an easy accessible place to access it. So you'll go into your folder. Select your mods. Um, I think you have to do it one by one. Yeah, you do. And you can double click them or click them and click open and it will add them to this list. Okay. <clears throat> so once you've done all that, you may want to go ahead, if you've messed around with any mods before or changed your Minecraft jar at all, go ahead and click on patch just in case and that'll restore it to the original. And it's good to remember that if you screw something up, you can always do that. Okay. So don't worry too much. Now you'll want to check the mods that you want. So I've got all my mods checked, including Optifine, Code Chicken Core, and Not Enough Items. Unofficial Tales of Kingdoms mod, Mod Letter, Raise Minimap. Now you want to uncheck HD Textures, HD Font, Better Grass, and Connected Textures because Optifine conflicts with those. But if you want to run Optifine for its massive FPS increase, go ahead and do that. Now you can still check random mobs, custom colors, and better skies. Those are fine. Just uncheck these one, two, three, four settings, okay? So once you've done that, all you have to do is click patch. Now this will come up telling you that there's some conflicts. Um, there are ways to sort of get around this popping up, but it, it, shouldn't, it hasn't been a problem for me, and it shouldn't be for you. It's really just these mods sort of work together um, not really, but it should install it in a way that they're not going to conflict and, and hurt each other. So um, it should still work. Uh, it's, it's the Code Chicken Core and Not Enough Items, which are companion mods, so that's okay. The other thing is Optifine and Mod Loader conflict, but um, it's for me, it's uh, loading the files from Not Enough Items and the files from Mod Loader, the ones that are conflicting, it's loading those two. So if it's doing that for you, it should be okay, right? Um, and then once you've done that, you'll click yes there and it will go ahead and patch your jar. And then you can go ahead and click test Minecraft if you want. Um, and you'll see that it works quite fine. Uh, you can then use HD texture packs without a problem, John Smith or whatever. Um, I'm using uh, Summer Fields, which is an awesome texture pack. Now, if you want to see all these mods in action, uh, I'm not going to show them off in this video because they're all in my series, which is called uh, Tale, Tales of Wiley, So you can check out on my channel. So if you, uh, if you like this video, you know, check out my other videos. I'd really appreciate it. And go ahead and like and subscribe to me if you really feel like it or comment. Um, uh, if you are having a problem and you comment, I can try to help you. But honestly, the best way to solve your problem, because I'm, I'm no whiz at this sort of thing. I'm, I'm pretty freaking smart, but you know, I'm not a genius. Honestly, just ask Google. Just go ahead and go into Google and say, Minecraft crashes when I use these mods. And God knows, someone else has probably already asked your question. So that's my advice to you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'm Wiley, and this has been a short tutorial on using Mod Loader to install Tale of Kingdoms and other mods. Hope to see you again sometime. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.